Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we joyfully celebrate today the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, His victorious rising from the dead. And as we celebrate today this great triumph of our Lord, we join to Him all our petitions, all our needs, all our trials at this moment, believing that together with Him, we will rise again and be victorious. And so, to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask our Lord Jesus for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live 
and declare the works of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with Him in glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises, a lamb the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak Mary, declaring, What you saw wayfaring, The tomb of Christ, who is living, The glory of Jesus' resurrection, Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee, he goes before you. Christ, indeed, from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, 
they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We gather together joyfully this morning as we celebrate this culmination of our week-long commemoration of the passion, death, and today, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And my brothers and sisters, as we gather today, even through online means, kahit na hindi po tayo nagkakasama ng pisikal dahil po sa ating mga uh, restrictions ngayong mga panahon na ito, subalit hindi po sagabal ang mga restrictions na ito para tayo ay magkasama-sama. We are together in celebrating our faith in the resurrection of our Lord. And as we celebrate this day, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is good that we come back, we go back to the message of our readings today. Let us go back to the gospel. And on Resurrection Sunday, we hear about in the gospel passage the first ever Re uh, resurrection account, the first ever witness, encounter, experience of the disciples about the resurrection of our Lord. Binabalikan po natin yung pinakaunang karanasan ng pagkaalam nila na si Jesus ay wala na sa libingan at muling na buhay. The experience of Mary Magdalene early in the morning while it was still dark, according to the gospel account, he went to the, she went to the tomb and saw that the stone was removed and she immediately ran to Peter and the beloved disciple. And when they heard about it, they also ran towards the tomb. We go back to that basic experience of encountering, of witnessing the resurrection of our Lord. And we will understand that since it was still their first experience, in the beginning, they do not yet fully comprehend. That is why in the gospel it is said, they did not yet understand the scripture 
that he had to rise from the dead. It was, yes, it was a very basic experience, an experience that did not yet gave them full comprehension, but still, this basic encounter with Jesus is an important part of their faith. And later on, we will see in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, now Peter is already preaching to the people that Jesus is indeed alive. He is risen from the dead and He is our true and real Savior. Jesus is alive. Sa Ebanghelyo po, nakita natin na yung pinakaunang karanasan nila ay sariwang-sariwa pa siguro yung kanilang lungkot na nararamdaman. Kaya parang medyo naguguluhan pa sila. Pero makalaga yun. Makalaga ang unang-unang karanasan nila na si Jesus ay mulingang nabuhay. At makikita natin pagdating sa Acts of the Apostles, sa gawa ng mga apostol, na si Pedro na ang siya mismong nagpapakayag na si Jesus nga ay buhay. Siya ay totoo. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the Easter message that Jesus is real. Parang sinasabi ni San Pedro sa kanyang pagpapakayag, nakita ko siya, naranasan ko siya, Yung unang araw ng linggo na yon, na kami ay nagtungo sa libingan at nagulat kami dahil wala siya. Yan ang karanasan ko kay Jesus. Kaya kaya kong magpakayag, totoo si Jesus. Yan ang pinakasentro, pinakamahalagang mensahe ng Easter. Si Jesus ay totoo. Si Jesus ay buhay. At manggagaling lamang ang pagpapakayag na ito kung tayo mismo ay naranasan natin katulad ni na Pedro, nila Maria Magdalena na naranasan natin buhay si Jesus sa ating mga sariling karanasan. My dear brothers and sisters, the message of Easter is Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. If we want to gain back that ability to preach to others, to say that Jesus is real, then like Peter, John, and Mary Magdalene in the Gospel passage, let us go back to that very basic experience of witnessing and encountering Jesus. Remember, they did not just hear about Jesus. They did not just read about Jesus. They encountered personally Jesus. Napakahalaga po nito. Para masabi mong totoo si Jesus, kinakailangang hindi lamang na babasa, magbabasa ka tungkol sa Kanya, hindi lamang na makikinig ka tungkol kay Jesus, hindi lamang aaralin mo ang, ang libro tungkol kay Jesus, kinakailangang maranasan mo si Jesus. We need to go back to that basic experience of encountering Jesus. And when we go back to that very basic encounter with Jesus, then like Peter and the other disciples, we can say with conviction, Jesus is real. 
Jesus is truly alive. Kung gusto po ninyong magpanumbalik ang ating pananampalataya, balikan ang ating pakikipagtagpo sa ating mga buhay kay Jesus at masasabi natin sa ibang tao, totoo nga si Jesus. For the past days, we have been uh, celebrating the Paschal Triduum in the Manila Cathedral. And uh, for me, as, uh, as a priest assigned here for nearly six years, matagal na pala ako dito, no? six years na pala dito sa Manila Cathedral since 2015, Baka malapit ng mailipat no, ng assignment no, because that is our term. For the past six years, we have been celebrating the Paschal Triduum here in the Manila Cathedral. And, you know, I can already say I have already memorized all the movements here, all the preparations here. Memorize na namin yan. Bawat paghahanda dito tungkol sa Holy Week, alam na namin. But this past days, I think it was the grace of God for me and I'm sure for all of us to go back to that basic experience of really encountering Jesus in the celebration and you will be able to say that yes Jesus is real sa tinagal-tagal ko po ng pag, pagdiriwang ng Holy Week dito sa sa Manila Cathedral sa paghahanda palagi minsan parang nawawala mo si Jesus pero nitong mga nakarang araw parang bumalik ang karanasan ko kay Jesus. The Good Friday celebration has become a real experience for me. Siguro po mapapansin ninyo kapag Good Friday ay uh, kumahalik po sa krus. Alam niyo po, memorize ko na ang gagawin dyan, no? Kami pong mga, minsan kami dito ay nag-uusap-usap. O, oh, kapag hahalik ka sa krus, kailangan ganito ang anggulo ng halik mo, no? Para makita ka sa camera, no? Para, kasi kapag hindi, matatakpan ng mukha mo nung paa ni Jesus. Kaya dapat nandito, no? dito ka hahalik. At kailangan patagalin mo ng kaunti, no? Para ma-capture ka sa camera. And then you will get the shot pang post yan sa Facebook. No? So, yan, no? ganyan na yung mga usapan namin. No? Siguro sa tagal-tagal na kami nagkakanda dito, parang ganyan na ang mga pagkakanda na ginagawa sa Good Friday. No? Where do I face? No? Where should I kiss the, the, the image of the crucified Christ so that I will be seen in the camera? But this Good Friday was different for me. When I saw Bishop Broderick Pabilio kissing the feet of the crucified Christ. He did not just kiss. He buried himself on the feet of our Lord. It was, I think, five, ten seconds. Not just kissing, but he buried himself on the feet of Jesus. And I felt that prayer, in fact, not prayer, but begging Jesus. And I felt the suffering again. The suffering of many people who have lost their jobs, who are going hungry at this moment. The suffering of those who are working in the hospitals. The suffering of a COVID patient. 
I know because I was a COVID-19 positive patient last year, August of 2020. And I felt it came back to me, all of those sufferings, the fear, the fever, the coughing, the fear of losing your breath, the fear of being alone. And there, looking at the crucifix, burying yourself on the feet of Jesus, you are just able to encounter again Jesus in prayer. I have read theological books, liturgical books. We have studied about this, about Good Friday in the seminary when we were studying. But that basic experience of kissing the feet of Jesus on Good Friday is more powerful than everything that I have read. And I was able to say, Jesus is indeed real. Yan ang mensahe ng pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Masasabi natin, kung babalikan natin ng ating mga basic encounter with God, masasabi natin, totoo nga si Jesus. Kaya po mga kapatid, sana po sa araw na ito ay ibalik sana natin si Jesus. Let us bring back Jesus in the equation. Sometimes we have been serving Jesus for a long time. We have been celebrating the Triduum for the past week, the past days. But it is important to focus on Jesus. And we will be able to say and to profess and preach that Jesus is indeed real. Ito po ang aking suggestion sa inyo na mga nanonood sa atin ng ating uh, Easter Sunday celebration ngayong araw. Let us bring back even the word Jesus on the equation, on everything that we say. Kasi minsan nawawala na. Nawawala ang pagiging totoo ni Jesus. Kaya ang aking sugestyon, ibalik natin si Jesus. For example, you are a uh, student, you are studying, for example, in a Catholic school. Instead of just saying, I am studying in a Catholic school, Maybe it is time to say, I am learning from Jesus. Jesus is teaching me. Kasi parang nangyari ngayon na nawala na si Jesus. No? So for example, I am studying in, for example, UST. Ah, the Dominicans have trained me. <laughs> o kaya kapag nag-aral ka sa Ateneo, ah, the Jesuits have trained me well. They forgot about Jesus. And so, if you are a student, maybe this is the time that you are able to encounter Jesus in your studies and you will be able to say, I learned from Jesus. Jesus has taught me. And I think this will make a big difference if you are serving in church, kapag ikaw ay naglilingkod sa simbahan, kalimbawa ikaw ay lector, nagbabasa ka sa simbahan, instead of just saying, I am a lector in the church, I am a reader in the church, you say, I am reading the words of Jesus. I have become a mouthpiece for God. Di ba mas maganda yon kaysa sasabihin mo, ah, magbabasa ako sa misa. No. Say, I am reading 
the words of Jesus. If you are a commentator, a choir member, you are responding in the Mass. Do not just say, I am responding to the prayers. I am responding to the priest. Say, I am responding to Jesus. I am singing not just in the Mass. I am singing for Jesus. The members of, uh, of the feast, the community of the feast are watching us today. They are together with us because they are having the grand Easter celebration of the feast community. I will suggest one thing with you. Do not just say, we are celebrating Easter. Say, we are celebrating Jesus. Di ba mas may dating? Parang iba ang pakiramdam. When you are saying, ah, we are celebrating Easter today. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Maybe it is time to bring back Jesus. We are celebrating Jesus. We are celebrating the Lord's resurrection. Happy resurrection of Jesus today. And it brings back a different meaning. It brings back a more personal encounter with Jesus. Alam niyo po, dito sa loob ng Manila Cathedral ay isa pa sa mga nagtatrabaho sa amin dito at talagang nagsisikap yung mga cameraman po natin. No? Ngayon po may tatlong cameraman na nandito. May dalawa na nandito sa gilid, nag operate may reminder din ako sa inyo ngayon. No? Kala nyo nakaligtas kayo sa akin. No? <laughs> Instead of just, you know, saying na, ay, kukunan namin yung 8 a.m. mass ni Father Kali sa Manila Cathedral. No? Instead of just saying, ah, kukunan namin si Bishop Pabilio ngayon, may misa siya. Sabihin ninyo, kukunan namin si Jesus. Tingnan ko na lang kung makakatulog pa kayo. No? Kapag, uh, kung malilingat pa ang atensyon natin. Sa mga camera, alam ko nga yung mga panahon na to, ang daming mga cameraman sa ating mga parokya na go-operate ng uh, social media, ng mga camera, sound system, and everything. Napaka-busy nating lahat. Huwag ninyo lang sasabihin, kukunan namin yung 8 a.m. no Ang hirap. No, maglalatag kami ng kordon uh, lahat ito'y aayusin namin instead of just saying we will broadcast the masses say we will broadcast Jesus our cameras are looking at Jesus then it will be a different experience and at the end you will be able to say, Jesus is real. Totoo si Jesus. Mga minamakal na kapatid, sa pagdiriwang po natin ngayong araw na ito, balikan natin ang ating karanasan, pakikipagtagpo kay Jesus. At kapag binalikan natin yan, katulad ni Pedro at ng mga apostol, masasabi nating totoo nga si Jesus. Let us go back to encountering Jesus in our lives, in our personal experiences, even how, how basic that experience may be. And then, when you are able to encounter Him personally, you will be able to say, not only to yourself, but to others, Jesus is real. Totoo nga si Jesus. Buhay si Jesus. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, 
Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now place our needs before God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, that like St. Peter, he may continue to lead the Church in witnessing to the joyful truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those who have dedicated their lives to God, that they may look for things that are in heaven and be Christ's witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those unjustly deprived of their freedom, that they may draw fresh hope of freedom from the mystery of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the family of God, gathered here in Easter joy, that we may bear witness to the risen Christ and reflect Him in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that they may rise to eternal life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and for people who asked for our prayers. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead as he promised us. In peace and joy, we present our prayers to you through the same risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Per ipso met cum ipso et in ipso, Estibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the Resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration of the Easter Sunday Holy Mass. We would like to thank the, those who have sent their uh, petitions online through our Masses. We would like also to thank communities who are joining us today, especially the community of the Feast, who are having their grand Easter celebration. And this Easter day, we would like to send you our prayers and blessings especially to your families and loved ones and special blessings also to those who are right now easter sunday working in hospitals our different frontliners we ask that our lord jesus may let you feel his protection and blessing and let you encounter him personally and as you serve those who are sick right now you are not just serving patients, you are taking care of Jesus. And special blessing also for those who are suffering right now because of COVID-19, all those who are sick right now. You are not just sick with COVID-19, you are suffering with Jesus. And as Jesus promised, he will strengthen you and you will rise up again from sickness together with him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing now and forever amen may he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever amen and may you who have already risen with christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh,
Regina Celii.